Hello Security Tube. Welcome to another session of Security Tool Demos. Now in this video, we will look at the Stoned Bootkit. So exactly what is a bootkit to begin with? Well, a bootkit is actually a root kit which is loaded at boot time. So now the question arises, what is a root kit? Which I'm sure most of you would be familiar with, but if you aren't, a rootkit is actually a malicious program which is generally installed by hackers once they compromise a system in order to still continue keeping root on the system. So basically, let's say a hacker compromises a system using a vulnerability and probably wants to still hold on to the system even if the vulnerability is patched. That is when he goes ahead and installs a rootkit on the system which might open up a back door, have a covert channel, might hide processes and tons of other stuff. So a rootkit is actually a huge topic in itself. And if you're interested, visit rootkit.com. This is probably the definitive authority on the internet about rootkits. So let's move back to our topic of bootkits. Now, what does the stone bootkit actually do? Well, once you install the bootkit, it actually starts even before Windows can run at boot time. And basically, uh, it has access to the entire system. Now, what does that mean? Well, it basically runs parallel to Windows and actually is resident, memory resident up to the Windows kernel level itself. So, you could actually use this framework and write your own tools, which could be viruses, or which could be diagnostic tools which run before, uh, you know, at boot time before Windows is actually loaded. So let's look at a quick demo of the stoned bootkit. You can download the stoned bootkit from their website. A link is given. Uh, I've already downloaded it. And let me quickly unzip it to show you a demo. <clears throat> So the stone bootkit was actually written by Peter and was demonstrated in this year's Black Hat USA. So this is actually the, uh, you know, uninstalled, uh, sorry, the extracted directory structure. And basically you will notice is that you have the entire source code and everything available. So you could look at that. And what we are interested in right now is the executables directory. So there are actually two executables. One is called infector and the other is restore, which we will use in this demo. Once you run infector, it will go ahead and infect the current windows and go ahead and install the stoned bootkit into the MBR or the master boot record. So we've run it and it says exited successfully. So now what we shall do is go ahead and restart the system. So I'm running this entire demonstration inside VMware. Uh, you know, of course, that makes sense simply because I'm playing around with a boot kit, which actually changes my master boot record itself. So what will happen now is the stoned boot kit has installed itself. And now basically, even before Windows is loaded, the stone bootkit would actually get loaded and will execute. And we will see that shortly. So let me actually restart the system. So if you notice right now, as soon as the system started, uh, basically, you got this error message which says your PC is stoned again. Uh, this is nothing but actually a actually something which the stoned rootkit has shown on the screen. So basically, right now the stoned bootkit has actually run. Now let's go ahead, press and enter, and allow Windows to load normally. So as you can clearly see, the stoned bootkit 
has run much before the original windows could actually load or run and thus right now it has full control over the system right so one can clearly imagine that a windows auto pawning tool could be written uh, you could write boot applications so on and so forth the best part is that because the stone boot kit is open source you can go ahead hack it and create your own variants and versions and tools with it so i would highly recommend uh, that you go ahead and download this tool and play around with it if possible even try to change the source code and see what all can be done so this is a very nice framework which i am sure enables a lot of uh, tool writers as well as malware authors to do new and exciting things the best part is that the stone boot kit works right from windows 98 to windows 7 so xp vista everything can be infected using the same stoned boot kit framework so let me actually go ahead and once you know now that i've shown you a demonstration of the system just go ahead and restore the system back to health so the restored original boot master boot record successfully message is seen which means that stoned has been removed from the master boot record well that's all for this video would request you to please leave comments behind uh, it's really encouraging to read your comments so that i know that you know people are watching my videos and actually are liking it or even disliking it let me know what you feel and so please leave a comment behind thank you